Alarm organization, uh, the, these alarms can be effective if they're well organized. So let's talk about how you can actually organize your alarms. So there can be thousands or hundreds of thousands of alarms in a facility. An individual operator only needs to see the alarms in his area. And you need to think about a hierarchy for filtering, for filtering your alarms. There are really two ways to filter alarms. By using the naming and organization of the tags and folders in the system. And number two would be through the use of associated data. And this happens to be a feature of Ignition. So the first way is through the naming and organization of tags and folders. Now, for example, you may have two different areas of your plant, area A and area B. And if you organize your alarms in those two folders, you have the ability to filter on those particular areas. The second is you can use associated data to filter your alarms. It's more flexible because you can create more than one category or group that you can use. The values will be attached to the alarm event as it moves through the alarming system. And if you make the value dynamic by linking it to another tag or expression, you can go back and see the, what the room temperature was or what happened upstream or downstream uh, for that particular alarm. If you make it a static value, it's a perfect use. It's not going to change for filtering. So we can actually filter on the screen for these, these custom values that we add to an alarm. So let's show an example of how we can uh, do organization of alarms. And again, I'm going to do this in the in Ignition platform here. So I'm going to first go to the Ignition designer here. And uh, I have left-hand side here a tag browser where I have some tags that I've already defined. And there's, there's quite a few of them that I have alarms on. As you can see, there are three inside of area A folder, and there are three inside of area B folder, actually four in that case. And so I've organized these alarms into these particular folders. So that first method is to use the folders for filtering. And so by just putting all three of these alarms in area A and the other four alarms in area B, now I can go on a screen and I can see what, all the alarms that are currently active in, in area A. I can see all the alarms that are currently active in area B, as well as I can do do things with it for uh, as history as well as for notification, who I want to notify. Because I may notify a different list for area A versus area B. So if you organize your tags and think of a hierarchy in this way, you can use that to your advantage in the alarming system. And uh, the second for filtering would be on using the associated data, the, the custom values. And I'll show both examples on a screen here in just a minute. But if I go and look at any of these tags, say I go here to my machine fault, for example, and I go to alarming here, basically I can add uh, this, this green plus icon allows us to add associated data to an alarm. And I can add anything I want. If I scroll down here, you'll see there's a, an area for associated data. And they all show up as, as blue um, values here. So I have one called group. And uh, this, the value of it is false. And so I can just type whatever I want arbitrarily here. And I can add more than one of these groups if I want to. If I go to my tank level and look at the alarming, I have the same idea here. I have a group, and in this case, I have it for called tanks. And so I've done that with all these alarms that I configured. I can add my own associated data. So whether we organize the tags into folders or whether we use associated data, the idea is that on the screens and later on to the alarming system, we can use that for filtering. So if I go here to the runtime, this shows this alarm organization, a nice screen that's completed. The top one, this alarm status here, is showing me all the active alarms, and it's showing me by the area that I've selected. So I have area A, it's showing me all the area A's. If I click on area B, now I'm going to see all the alarms here for area B. So I can use that hierarchy there for filtering. The bottom shows the filtering on the associated data, which can, is very arbitrary. So I can use more than one if I want to at the same time. So here I'm looking at faults. I can see the two. If I go to tanks, I can see the different tanks uh, that I have. If I look at analogs, I can see the different analogs I put in there, and if I have any diagnostic alarms, I can see the diagnostic ones. So it allows us to put this into our own custom organization that we can work with. 